Hello everyone. Today we have with us the co-organizers of an amazing conference called iScientist. Uh, starting with Sandra, who is a natural scientist by training um, and now a science manager at the University of Constance with the focus on gender equality and diversity. Then we have Marie Claire, uh, who is a PhD student of psychology at the University of Constance. And we also have Irena on the line, who is a PhD student of physics at the University of Constance based in Germany, all three of you based in Germany. So thank you all for taking the time to speak with me about the iScientist conference. And thank you in advance for organizing this amazing conference. Um, so let's start with uh, understanding what this conference is, is all about. So what, what is iScientist? Please tell me about it. So Thanks for giving us the opportunity to talk about the conference. iScientist is a unique conference that emerged in 2017 as a response to the obvious, uh, obvious gender imbalance in STEM fields. Mm -hmm. So the goal of the, of the group of organizers back in 2017 was to increase awareness of structural inequalities responsible for this imbalance and to provide support and mentorship for young scientists as well. So they all noted, coming from STEM fields, that there is gender imbalance and no one is talking about it. So mm -hmm. they wanted to create this platform in which people can discuss the problems and try to find possible solutions. Mm -hmm. So iScientist um, has taken place three times, mm -hmm. starting in 2017. Um, the conference happened in Berlin three times and now it's moving to another city mm -hmm. and the idea was to get it to the city of Constance mm -hmm. live first. Uh -huh. um, now we decided to have it as an online conference which has, which has advantages and disadvantages um, but I think we are quite happy to have it virtual right now. So mm -hmm. the conference has three missions. One is gender, one is career and one is networking. Mm -hmm. um, gender occurs to the topic that I already raised, so gender bias and gender imbalance in academia, but also in industry, are found across all disciplines and professions. Mm -hmm. So coming from the original idea of um, discussing gender imbalance, the focus of the 2020 conference is also to extend it to other aspects of a person's social and political identity. So we are going into the direction of the, the concept of uh, intersectionality by also giving sessions um, discussing on gender, race, um, LGBTQ, sexuality, um, other dimensions, so to say, and mm -hmm. therefore going into the direction back from or starting from gender, going more into the direction of having an in, uh, intersectional view. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. And uh, because all of this uh, might combine in a certain way to create unique modes of discrimination and privileges, and it's not just about gender. It's you know there's more. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Exactly. So the second one was career paths. Mm -hmm. um, in order to make good decisions for your you know further life, either in academia or outside. Um, one need to know what opportunities are out there. So mm -hmm. either the academic path or the path uh, outside, which is, I mean, quite huge and no one really has an overview. So we are also including companies and we are including other um, academic institutions as well to give our attendees um, a broader view of possibilities. What can I do after I've finished my PhD when I decide I want to leave academia? What can I do to like get a career done, so to say, in academia? And what possibilities are out there? So the one highlight also of the 2020 conference is to, to exclude or to not exclude, to go from STEM, where we originally come from, mm 
and broaden the focus to other disciplines because academia is a system in itself and academia the academic system discriminates or selects in a certain way across all disciplines mm -hmm. yeah if you look at the level of a professorship there are less numbers of females in every discipline it doesn't matter if it's in um if it's in you know uh, psychology or uh, psychology or if it's in physics i mean they have of course they have dis discipline specific um specific um yeah mm -hmm. numbers yeah. they have discipline specific uh circumstances i think we have to circumstances yeah mm -hmm. circumstances um but but they have all you know they are all underlying the same academic system and we want to focus on that because mm -hmm. during a phd you will focus the same problems once within the time of the PhD, a PhD lifetime, so to say, um, as a PhD student from physics. <laughs> so there are, there are some, there are big similarities. Um, and talking about career paths as well, it's our goal to not just talk and discuss and create visions, which is important, but also to show our attendees real living examples of what's possible. We included um, job sharing as an alternative also for professorship. So we will have one professor that shares her professorship with another person. So it's two on the top position. Mm -hmm. um, things like this. Uh -huh. okay. uh, job sharing in academia and industry. Exactly. And now uh, to the third mission networking. Um, as I said in the beginning, I scientists um, will provide space for the participants to exchange experiences, to create networks by themselves, as done previously in the previous years um, successfully, uh, and to define their own personal ambitions and pursue uh, themselves confidently. Um, we have every day some sessions some networking sessions we will come to that point later mm -hmm. that are dedicated to either different topics or to a different um, content mm -hmm. okay all right so to summarize it's basically uh, everything around about the conference is for uh for for to address the issues that are faced universally by all different kinds of disciplines of science um, and industry as well. Let's not leave the industry out uh, with the three missions being gender, uh, career paths and networking. Um, so that's that's the idea behind iScientist. Uh, is that correct? Yes. Okay, super. So that brings me to my next question, which is how how is it different than i mean it already does sound that it is different from a conventional or a typical scientific conference but how is it exactly different from the from from a scientific conference what can the attendees uh, expect uh, when they are attending the scientist conference especially now being virtual uh, i think the main difference uh, between i scientist and other uh, academic conferences is that you usually go to a conference to meet experts in your particular field, um, present your research, learn about their research, and basically have an exchange that is focused on content, so basically on the science itself, whereas iScientist focuses on the people doing the science and the research more so than on the content and the research itself. So iScientist is basically about how we work together, how we interact in our teams, um, how we feel in our workspaces, and most importantly for us, you know, who has access um, to those workplaces and who's included in those workplaces in the first place. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, of course, that's the main difference. And um, we also want to talk about how we can uh, apply our skills from a scientific field in places beyond academia as well mm -hmm. okay that's mainly okay so will there be any scientific talks uh, at the iScientist conference 
Um, so some people, you know, might present like snippets of the kind of research they do here and there to just introduce um, the fields that they come from or the fields that they work in, but mainly the focus of the sessions themselves will be um, on the topics that Sandra has just mentioned and that we're also going to, you know, probably explain a little bit more in detail later on. But mm -hmm. yeah, so there might be like a little bit from, you know, certain speakers, they might want to talk about the research that they're doing a little bit, but it's not going to be um, the way it's usually done at an academic conference where you're, you know, expected to be at that level in that discipline. Um, mm -hmm. It just might be like a quick introduction to, to the work they're doing. Mm -hmm. Just to explain a bit of the background or the current uh, job they're doing or something along those lines. So it would exactly. be understandable for any and everyone without any uh, scientific training even. Um, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Like it, we're not focusing on any, you know, research that any of our speakers are doing. Some of them aren't from, from research backgrounds at all. So it's definitely understandable and, you know, the content is definitely, you know, on a level that anyone can understand regardless of what discipline they, they're from. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, that sounds great. Um, so about uh, the structure, what kind of sessions can, can one expect? If there are no scientific conferences with the invited talks and the keynote uh, talks about the science itself, what kind of different sessions um, are you guys organizing for the attendees? Yeah, so um, as you said, we have like three main formats. On the one hand, there is the sessions themselves that are organized through topics. For example, Sandra already introduced that we will have a topic in gender, another one covering LGBTQA+. Um, so this would be more like the standard uh, conference format in which we have a speaker, they talk. And what is different is that in this case, in, in most of the cases, instead of a standard Q&A, we will have what we call a deep dive. Uh, the deep dive is basically the speakers within the same session, they will be together on stage and they will be answering, it's kind of like a panel discussion, and they will be answering together also with a moderator the questions um, from the audience. So this would be, let's say, like the standard um, talk approach. And the sessions that we're having this year in this kind of format are gender. So we will cover gender, let's say, in science or in STEM or in academia. So what are the biases, uh, the difficulties, and so on. We will also have a session more dedicated to show role models, successful role models. And this is what we call the social entrepreneurs, entrepreneurship session. And we will have uh, speakers like Ursula Keller, which is, a, which is a successful physicist at ETH in, in Zurich. We will also have a session um, trying to see, uh, to see or highlight how to have the fam a balance in the family and in the academic sy system, which is very important for a lot of people. What we also didn't plan to include, but we will at the end, is because we are going online and we are right now in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, so we will have a session on how does actually the COVID pandemic impact the gender equality because this, yeah, this is very new for us as well. And we think it's a very interesting topic these days. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, we will also have a session on uh, the LGBTQI plus minorities and how, yeah, to, um, to highlight or make these minorities in the academic system more visible, which is usually not the case, especially in high positions or usually one or it's hard to meet somebody in, a, for example, a professor or something like this belonging to the trans community, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And then what we also uh, planned initially to include uh, was a session on race in academia. Uh, but now because of the recent events on the, and all the Black Lives Matter movement, we decided to dedicate a full session uh, to this and which would happen on Saturday. Okay. Yeah, and Finally, what we thought is also important is not only to show, let's say, not the problems uh, or to expose them, but also try to find solutions. So because of this, we will have a session on, let's say, how to be a good ally. And this would be basically how can how I... Be help a good? Sorry, go ahead. Uh, how to be a good? Ally. So, ally? Oh. Okay. Yeah. So basically, it's, it would be like, for example, how I, as a white person, can I be a good ally for a person of color or somebody belonging to the LGBTQI 
community and things like this. And this is how we will close uh, basically our last session for the conference. Uh -huh. Okay. And yeah, but it's not, this will be the sessions that we discussed like more like talk, standard talk like, but we're also having a lot of networking because it's also a strong focus of the eye scientist. Mm -hmm. And so we will, these, we have, these formats are really different from standard conferences. For example, the main goal of them is for the participants to do some networking with the speakers, but also between themselves. Mm -hmm. And for this, for example, we have a session which is the open space and basically the participants gather together in small groups and the goal is to create something. So not only as an attendee, you get inputs from the speakers, but you also try to create something. And the idea is, for example, they gather together and they try to find solutions like, OK, me, what can I do in my work environment, you know, in my little office or as a PhD student or whatever that I can make my workplace more inclusive or things like this. So mm -hmm. this is the idea. Mm -hmm. And finally, what we also have this year is a lot of workshops or a few workshops so um, that people can register for them in a separate uh, link. And for example, we, we have workshop on for career advice or career perspective. So, OK, now I'm in my ending my PhD. Do I want to go on in academia or do I want to try um, in a company? What skills do I need? We also have a workshop for people that are engaged in science communication or that want to make women in STEM more visible. And yeah, and also another workshop on how to be innovative and patent also as a woman, which is usually ha not harder, but there are not so many women in the company sector. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Oh, that sounds like a super action-packed program that you have going there, uh, even when going virtual. So, it would be there would be talks there would be workshops there would be panel discussions there would be networking opportunities there would be career fairs and black lives matter sessions uh, science communication session a patent uh, session so i, I can't I, I i think i think people have to go to the website and familiarize themselves uh, with the <laughs> with the program because it does uh, sound quite rich and quite exciting of course um so when is the conference taking place so it will take place from wednesday the 16th of september until saturday the 19th, the 19th if i'm not mistaken yeah uh, 2020 yeah. okay yes 2020 <laughs> okay all right all right super so um this this definitely i think i'm i'm personally convinced that the conference is for everyone any and everyone and everyone can also attend and actively participate in the conference so could you could you guys talk a little bit about who who will benefit from attending this conference or who should definitely definitely not miss this conference or attend this conference for sure yeah sure so i mean i think as you just mentioned the obvious choice is obviously you know, academics, PhD students, postdocs, people who, who are in academia anyway, they can obviously benefit from this conference because it's about the context that they work in. So if they want to, you know, improve their own working conditions or maybe, you know, meet people, network, then obviously this conference is for them. But we also firmly believe that this conference is for absolutely anyone like whether you've, um, you're, you don't work in academia or you no longer work in academia because you may be um, changed um, to work in a company or do something else. Um, we still think that, you know, the topics that we'll be discussing are relevant in, in all fields and inequality um, of any sort, unfortunately, isn't limited to, to uh, one particular context and isn't limited to academia. So, yeah, we definitely think that uh, that anyone could benefit from attending this conference. And mm -hmm. um, a question that we often get is like, oh, since the conference has gender in the title, you know, a lot of, you know, men don't necessarily feel like this conference is for them, but we want to really encourage people um, of all genders, uh, of all sexual orientations, anyone to, um, to definitely see this as their conference, because if we want to work towards more inclusive and more, you know, diverse and accepting work environments, that's all of our 
jobs, you know, it's not just for, for the people affected by, by inequalities to, um, to, yeah, to basically rid academia of this problem, like it's something we all need to work at together. Mm -hmm. uh, so we definitely want to encourage anyone um, to attend. We also uh, do try our best to be as uh, uh, accessible as possible. So we will be providing subtitles on the main stage for people that are deaf or hard of hearing because we obviously want to try as hard as possible to make this a conference for everyone. Um, disclaimer, the subtitles aren't <laughs> perfect. Um, we, we did try our very best, um, so, but unfortunately they won't be um, in, in all events. So there might be some difficulty there, but we definitely encourage, you know, people, for example, who are deaf and if they know how, how we could improve this for next year, if they know of any services we could use um, to definitely let us know, um, just like email the organizers let us know what we could do um, to, to make this a better experience for, for you. This is obviously also the first time we're doing a virtual conference. Um, we had to go virtual quite spontaneously. So yeah, we're definitely uh, working hard to, to make this work. But um, yeah, if you have some issues with the subtitles, let us know. But yeah, we definitely just want everyone to know that everybody's welcome um, and everyone should attend and can benefit from the topics we'll be discussing and we'll be able to contribute to the different sessions and take away um, interesting new knowledge or skills from the workshops and the talks etc so yeah mm -hmm. we're really excited Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, that's that sounds wonderful, and uh, that that does bring. Uh, 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 and it's it's great. Uh, first of all, it's great that you are already making it, uh, trying to make it accessible. I'm sure it would be great um, uh, for for people who are hard of hearing. Uh, and hopefully, uh, after watching this video, there might be a few suggestions coming your way, either for this conference for this year or for next year years. I would say. Um, that that's, that it all sounds amazing. So um, I, it, it does it does I mean bring me to a question uh, that is more like as I said before I'm personally convinced that this conference is extremely useful and um, diversity inclusion the, or rather the three missions of iScientist which are um, gender career paths and networking all three are extremely important uh, topics. Um, to, to know more about and get to know about, um, to expose the existing system um, and obviously then find a solution towards fixing it. Um, but, but why, why should one attend this conference? Like for example, if, if I'm working in an in a, in a, in a industry, just as an example, why should I attend the iScientist conference or me as a PhD student or me as a postdoc or a PI? Why should I attend the conference, the iScientist conference? Well, um, first of all, because as we already said, unfortunately, equality is there, inequality, sorry, is there everywhere. And this is something that everybody as a person should try or should engage uh, to fix it and make everybody feel uh, more comfortable or happier. And what is clear, I mean, if, if you think about it in the company perspective, I mean, it is well known that when people feel more inclusive or they feel better at the work space, they also perform better because you, let's say you enjoy more what you do, no? So if you think about in this performance perspective, this would be the, the answer, but it's more because everybody should try to make basically, as I said, this world a better place and we should care about minorities and we should care about how every, everyone feels and everyone's rights because right now um, the system is not fair and it doesn't, it doesn't behave in the same way for different people. Mm -hmm. And so it's very important that we start talking about these, these things because sometimes this is, this is not the case. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, so this is the main goal and what should everybody attend because everybody should engage in this, in this topic, not because you're not affected, you should not care. For sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And as a good manager, you should always always try to embrace the diversity and that and make everybody feel better at the work at the workplace. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, and if you're not convinced by this point, then you should definitely attend this session that you mentioned, how to be an ally. That you <laughs> definitely. can definitely attend. <laughs> exactly. I also want to add that, as you mentioned before, um, I myself am not from a STEM field. So even among the organizers, you know, we we do have diversity. Not everyone's like in, in uh, a science or technology field. So, you know, obviously, if you're in a different discipline and you're thinking, oh, like, I'm an economist, like, why should I go to this? Like, I think you can absolutely still um, benefit from from attending our conference. And yeah, you should still sign up anyway. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I think think Sandra also mentioned at the beginning that it goes beyond the issues, uh, go beyond STEM uh, and uh, the humanities. Uh, social sciences, everything basically, linguistics, what have you, and industry as well. So uh, it makes complete sense to to attend the conference for sure. And now that it is virtual this time, um, fortunately or unfortunately, uh, well, rather fortunately, that (laughs) unfortunately for you guys as organizers, probably that it's a nightmare. Uh, but for, <laughs> for the attendees, because then people around the world can attend the conference and participate and engage in the conversation, uh, which is uh, which would be which would be great. And I guess as organi- co-organizers, you guys are also looking forward to that. Yes, we are very much for it. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And I mean, we also try to see. Obviously, it was um, a hassle trying to you know adapt the the format and everything. But we're also trying to, you know, see it as an opportunity to try new things, try new formats, see how, you know, those kinds of conferences can work online because, you know, this might, you know, with climate change and other issues, like this might be the future of of conferences anyway. So, you know, might be better to get a head start and just see what what's possible um, in a virtual space. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That makes sense. So, um, any part words for, from you guys to the potential attendees of the iScientist conference? We can go one by one if you have uh, a few thoughts on that. <laughs> Just please sign up as soon as possible and we are waiting for you. We are really excited and we will try to make the event as interactive as possible. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Marie-Claire, Sandra, do you have any any parting words or welcoming words to the future uh, attendees? Uh, I think just that as a past attendee myself, as I attended the 2019 conference, um, I had a really, really good experience. And obviously I, I came back uh, and I was really sad to, to sort of leave that, that um, space that was uh it was super nice i met amazing people there uh, i learned a lot and i think everyone else can too so i think you should sign up <laughs> okay sandra yeah i would just add come see think about and then let's change the world <laughs> okay. that's, a, that's a very powerful note to to end this uh, this conversation on so thank you very much uh, sandra irena Marie Claire for speaking with me and uh, telling everyone what I Scientist is all about. Uh, the link will be in the description, of course, to, to sign up to register for the conference, which is taking place from the September 16th till September 19th, uh, so Wednesday to th- uh, till Saturday, um, 2020. So uh, everyone sign up and uh, see you at the conference then. Thank you very much. Thanks Thanks for having us. Thank you.